Yes. Okay. Now, since after the war, since the the military operation, has the Calabari man seen the Igbo man differently? No. They still live. They, we live even at that time. Those of my uh, relations at uh, Uguta, they I brought them here, live with them. A good many of them remain with me and come back. We still live intermarrying up till today. We are very good. The Igbo man enjoy even more than the Calabari man in this appointment, I'm telling you. Soso Care is offering you a pharmacy plan with just 450 Naira by just dialing. Yes, you can assess pharmacy in all the states of Nigeria by just dialing. You can pay for pharmacy plan with trash, your used batteries, plastics, and... Um, good afternoon, beautiful people. Good afternoon. Uh, I still remain Chukwemeka, the Unified Igbo's non proponent. Today is a loaded one, a very special package that I have for the people of the world. I am in the city of Abonima, in River State, the town of the Calabari people, a hospitable people very very industrious people at that with a very rich culture and also very educative history at that i am here to relate with the people find out their story especially the story about the go to niger which the people of this town celebrates annually every 21st of june they celebrate the liberation of the nigerian army of the city from the forces of the biafran army it is an emotional one but i will ask you to sit tight relax and listen because to unify the Igbo people we must begin to strengthen our neighbors to strengthen our neighbors we must hear their story and hear their grievances because only this will heal our wounds follow me on this page thank you sir good afternoon thank you you're welcome i would like you to introduce yourself properly to our audience okay my very self here speaking with you is a uh, Chief uh, Alabo Ogaji Henry Langius Bob Manuel in Bob Manuel's compound. Thank you, sir. So tell us, where are we today? We are in Abonima now. We are in Abonima. Speaking. Abonima. Yes. Abonima. Bob Manuel's compound. Bob Manuel's compound. Abonima people are Calabari people, industrious people, like I said. Yes. Okay. Now, what was the relationship between the Calabari man and the Igbo man before the war? Before the war, the Calabari man and Igbo man are just like father and mother, all the same parents. Because I may say, half of the people in Calabari immigrated from uh, we, uh, people go to uh, Igbo and marry. And they are majority, if you count half of uh, Bonima, you will see majority of uh, Igbo, both different sides of Igbo as they came. As I was telling you, my mother came from Uguta in a uh, uh, Osai family. Osai family. Yes. Okay. Now, since after the war, since the the military operation, has the Calabari man seen the Igbo man differently? No. They still live. They, we live even at that time. Those of my uh, relations at uh, Uguta, they I brought them here, live with them. A good many of them remain with me and come back. We still live intermarrying. Up till today, we are very good. The Igbo man enjoy even more than the Calabari man in this appointment. I'm telling you. Are there does uh, I mean okay? Since after the war, um, was there a drop in the intermarriages? No, rather the marriaging continues as before. 
the Calabari man and the Ibo man has a close tie. Yes, till tomorrow. Okay, so how has this relationship helped these boots people, these boots people to foster their understanding, their political and economic relationship? Well, uh, that time you say it's the work of uh, the Almighty God. That is why, because there are other ethnic groups like uh, Ogoni, uh, people in Calabari at that time, does not go to marry Ogoni, no, uh, uh, Calabas, the Akwaibo, than the Igbos mostly they feel that they are, they are sisters and brothers, which they intermarry, to my own understanding. Majority of uh, Calabari people marry Igbo than Ogoni. It was now that uh, everything is mixed that you see people go to north, go to everywhere, Yoruba and Mar. Okay. Because of uh, what I may say, uh, civilization. Okay, okay. So now, um, having said this, I mean, hearing this from your mouth, you, you are quite old and um, that means you have a whole lot of experience. When we conduct a, uh, a survey, a survey, to ask the Calabari man how he sees the Igbo man, or uh, okay, let's say the Ejo's, the Ejo people. Uh, it, it is heartbreaking that most Ejo people still see the Igbo man as being corny, as being ambitious, and never to be trusted. No, it, does that exist here? No. What I may say on that issue, because the Ejo man does not think of going to marry Igbo. Very rare. Because they are all water uh, uh, moving people. Because you cannot go and meet somebody that does not know how to swim or one way or the other. Maybe that is their motive. Because very rare before the German go to marry Igbo man. Okay. Okay. But is there a difference? Is there any difference? Is there any uh, difference between the a German and the Zon man? No, because uh, why I'm saying this, the German like his people to be married because they go water movement. The Igbo woman that he may go and marry might not understand uh, how to swim or one way or the other. So that if you marry, you marry three, four, five, like the ages as they marry. To help them, most the women are more industrious than the men, to my own knowledge. So that is why maybe. Well. How do you think? How do you think? Do you see in your lifetime the Ejom man, I mean the Calabari man, having more robust relationship economically and politically with the general Igbo people? Yes, yes, I'm still saying the same thing. They are very close, very tight. Till now that I'm speaking to you, they are very tight. The but re recently, this this relationship is non-existent. It's still existing. To me, as I understand, it's still existing. Talking about the youth of today. The youth they of hardly, today they is still, hardly, still. They hardly, they hardly relate with the, the joy youth, the Calabar no, youth, they, hardly relates with the Igbo people. Yes, I'm still telling you. If you try to make a surveyor move, you will see that most of the Igbos has shops than the Calabaris. In, in this town? In I don't talk of uh, other places, but for now, as I knew, a good many of them, even they are very much, I won't, the people uh, 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 in the church aspect of it. They are even at the head. They place them at the head to conduct the churches. In our, our, our Amateke, what they call Amateke. Every uh, month uh, end, the uh, last Wednesday of the month, you see the numerous Igbo from nowhere, uh, Goni, uh, Calabar, and so forth and so on. But to me, now as I'm telling you, Igbo man is heading the uh, Amateke something, which is even it was the person that called me uh, on bed this morning to tell you how tight it is. Otherwise, we will be selecting them, doing on our own. But we are Abonima is not greedy. They use everybody, they take everybody. That is why the name called Abonima is love your uh, own and not to think of other man's uh, problem. Okay, the true meaning of Abonima is yes, love your own. Yes, mind their own, mind their own. Don't look for another man's problem. That is the meaning of our. That's why we love our people. It is the earthly father that made that switch, maybe. 
we have Buguma, Bibe. In your money, the interpreter said, mind their own and forget about my own. You know, um, it, it, while we are here, yes. we, it is good that we talk about these issues mm -hmm. because I believe this particular video, by the grace of God, will will travel wide. And uh, hearing from the mouth of the Calabari person talking about professing his love and unity between the Igbo man, I believe uh, it will go a long way. Now, recently, uh, there was this video that rattled the entire place about a, a son of Calabari uh, in the person of Alabo um, Dukubo, Asari. Asari Dukubo. Yes. You know, where he said some things, even as much as he has uh, claimed his uh, part of his ancestry come from Igbo land, uh, from a place called Abam. But uh, this video traveled, it went viral. A lot of Igbo people became apprehensive. I mean, there was a lot of condemnation where he was threatening that he's going to uh, eliminate. Like, I mean, I watched it, so I, but I didn't finish that video because it was so emotional. So, what do you think about this? Uh, as I talk about, you know, he cannot go to say all that. Why I say he cannot go to say all that? Because everybody is searching for where to survive. You know, a politician, when you go, you can speak more. In order to gain more, I can go and conquer here. I can go and conquer here. But where you see that man cannot even resist, he will now bow to him. But as I talk about a person, I may say, I may be his senior by far. But no matter the movement he has gone in the country, eh? so people respect him. The world has known him. So, so what he has claimed is true, I'm, as I, I'm telling you. Many of us are joined with the Igbo. If you don't come, most of our big men, I may say, I will not mention so much, but if you look like uh, the late uh, Harrison, uh, with that is him, uh, of Harrison, Marshall Harry. Okay, Marshall Harry. Marshall Harry. A good man with uh, all these people, when they met, nobody hide this identity from where he come from. If your father doesn't come there, your mother will come there. So that is it. So no one will say that I'm going to fight an evil man. But we were just like women. Only they themselves, as I was telling you, that come to invade us. And in order to even take us back to evil land and come to occupy Abu okay. We've not talked about this invasion. Tell us now, how was it going to be possible to move the indigen indigenous people of Calabari from Calabari town? Abonima here to uh, and okay, displace them in Nibu it's very easy. When they have already evacuated, say, a quarter of Abonima to Agada, to a known place, so even to Umwaya, to Umwaya and some other, even my junior brother was among the people evacuated. Same mother, same father. If I start to tell you from the stretch, it will take us a, a whole day. Mm -hmm. So, even in my mother's company, some of the Igbo people, I can make mention of their name, like uh, Black uh, and uh, a good many of them. They have the, they live, thinking that they will be succeeded of the uh, war. They took the key away of the house they were living. But eventually, after the war, I met Calabar, uh, uh, by name, his name Calabar, but he came in with a thinker. You know thinker now? Yes. Uh -huh. Think That's about. what, uh -huh, to make this, you know, from Oka. After the war, I met him at Ikori Road. Just like he as you are, to tell you. So that is their aim, because maybe the river run area is fertile and everything, so that they can, if they succeed, they will evacuate the people from the river run to that side, and they will come and occupy here. I've not had my feelings. Mm -hmm. The world is going to hear this. Am I correct? Though they were small, they, are, they weren't born. That is the true story. And that is why I say, anybody who tried to dream war or push in here, sorry for him because he has not seen the gravity. In all the Calabari area, it was a bonima here that uh, they bombed and killed so many souls. If you go to the town square, the Biafran army, the Biafran army, collided with the French uh, 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 aircraft. Okay, now, 
um let's let's come to this point because uh this story has filtered in and uh, a lot of people bought into it while uh, some did not there's a story that because in war in wartime mm -hmm. strategies that will make you win the war is allowed there's this story that goes like this that the nigerian forces camouflaged the, the biafran forces in order to sow the seed of discord came into some reverend towns and committed some atrocities no. using the biafran uniform Listen, while the, then will, in order to make the people have animosity I for will, the biafran i army. will tell you better all right because the biafran have got something uh, star in their shoulder that is the biafran uh, son the son okay, yes they have son. yes there is a big difference the nigerian camouflage and the nigerian flag is a big difference what i mean the story is that they had because it could be easy because uh, i have interviewed an inquiry man from emo mm -hmm. who said that his father because during that time during those operations some soldiers were caught which were not able soldiers they spoke they don't even speaking they don't even speak Igbo. they spoke in strange language that i'm not i'm not going to call name okay he said my first time of hearing this. really that they caught those people and understood that they were the camouflagers i mean i don't I, I, they wear the biafran uniform and committed atrocities in some riverine towns i uh, no, i disagree with you really? why i disagree with you because the equators are not a good fighter during this biafran nigerian war there were some sided of uh, the biafrans fighting the river right ask other people they tell you i would not have my feelings few so uh equators might be a nigerian soldier the rest of them also uh biafran uh, soldiers because they almost speak the same almost of the same dialect the way my very self to tell you when i was in portacourt the now as in Bodo stadium being the former stadium where the people they conscript people and train if you don't uh, speak Igbo thoroughly you will be in a problem because at that material time they don't want to employ any riverine person than to employ Igbos. I, is it out of hate or out of uh, in order to protect yes, against so sabotage that, uh, to invade, to, to, uh, in order to protect uh -huh. uh, themselves against yes, sabotage against uh, the uh, calabaris or the east no, because we are minor okay understand what i mean yes was this policy in place out of hate ah, i don't like the reverend man i don't like him it is different than i don't know if the language barrier is going to make them sell out okay let me call you I will, I will tell you more if you ask me unlike the action group and uh ag the uh, ag and the ncs eh? we mostly this this my father that was a secretary to uh, action group this very house that you are now was the secretary to action group because the river Run people so much believed on the action group while other area like the query are now bound to ncnc which uh Okpara and Sek belong. Then uh uh Wolo belong to AG, which everybody say hey, it's lying they come fima we are fima they were throwing flags up the air. People they pick up fima by bus, the other people were it going by uh, helicopter. So eventually there was a this incited at a bridge compound, which they wanted to make uh pure water for us to drink, which they sank up to the river Niger. But eventually, since we don't support them, that's why I become a body. They don't. Now, in the shipping aspect of it, we have a bulk oil company here. That is BOP. Because they failed the uh, election, they have to transfer everything to Opopo, which uh, people say, if you are going, you go alone. But this thing is an agreement with the colonial uh, people yes, okay. so you don't go with it there they left to popo from here they try to injure us in those so many ways to talk but a few okay so that's it okay <laughs> you know um I, I from me i can deduce mm -hmm. that these are all political yeah. interests yeah. political interests 
come the uh, military operations that has nothing to do with an ordinary civilian out there trying to survive and do business okay coming back to the query question how do you see the query man from the man? i mean how do you see the query is an equipment man do you see the equipment man as an Iboman? uh i mean i would call it semi Iboman. semi Iboman. semi Iboman. brother close why? To Iboman. why why because they almost understand one another than us they even go closer than uh, to the Ibos than to the river right man of calabar as I'm telling you, with I'm talking with emphasis. Okay, uh, Emo has shares a border. Yes, with... we have a border. Though we intermarriage, we intermarriage with them. Most equally, we intermarriage. Okay. But uh, sorry, uh, sorry for uh, cutting you there. But I must throw this question. Before the war, mm -hmm. before the war, mm -hmm. how was the relationship between the Equerry and the rest of the general Igbo people? Fine. My own father trade with the Equerry people which I know very well. He trade with the Ikwere people, but some of them work with the Igbo area. Some of our people trade with the river and like the farmers, most, where our boat can easily go to market and come back. Not going, sorry, not this time that they go to uh, all this up up land like uh, uh, HA side and so forth, no. We don't go there. Ndele, Osogo, Ebele, uh, Awoda. Uh, people trade with them and make that intermarriage. Not as the main Igbo people, as I told you. Is there anything like main Igbo people? Uh, when I say main Igbo people, it's uh, Anambra or uh, Imo, uh, Ikwere man. Uh, but uh, Igbo people are tribal people that i mean we have different clans in Ibu. you have different i am not uh i am not from amambala anambra. which is anambra uh -huh. you call anambra um i am not ngwa uh -huh. i am not mbise uh -huh. i am not ha uh -huh. i am iswama which the Igwe people refer to as the Isoma. No. <laughs> but thank you. I thank you for your <laughs> deep 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 knowledge <laughs> hello beautiful people um i am still your own faithfully Chukwemeka, the unified Igbo is now proponent. Um, I promise you that what I'll be providing to you here is educational content. Something to research with, something to better your days with, and something to change the future. I am still here in the town of Abonima with my loving people, the Calabari people. I feel at home. Nobody is chasing me to kill. Nobody is seeing me as I mean, as a strange person, unlike what we, most of us, think, I would advise that we see our whole people, especially our brothers from the River Rhine, as loving people, shun the people, I mean, the few people who try to sow the seed of discord, trying to make the Calabari man an enemy to the Igbo man, the Igbo man an enemy to the Calabari man. These are one people bounded by one love one goal which is humanity and the will to survive i'll be bringing you this next time but at the moment remain blessed and god bless you thank you